Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Jacob Restituto. I'm a musician from Northport, New York, and I had a ton of requests for this. This is Evolution of Ariana Grande by Pentatonix. Their cover uh, of, I guess technically a bunch, a mashup of, of a bunch of her songs. They do a really, really, really good job at this. Uh, I have not seen this specific one, but I've seen, I believe I might have seen the Michael Jackson one. I've seen the Daft Punk one. I've seen the, um, uh, what's it called? The, the Evolution of Music. So I really enjoy when they do this stuff. I think it's really good, really good and really cool. Uh, they're insanely talented musicians and, and singers, obviously. Uh, but as always, you could text me. I have two different numbers, international WhatsApp and a regular text message number. If you have any requests, you can send those requests there, they're down below, or they'll pop up on the screen at some point. And uh, if you want to check out my music, it's Jacob Restituto, wherever you listen. Also, if you're interested in learning about any of the terms, if you don't understand the terms I'm talking about and want to learn about them further, there's a music production course on my, my Patreon. Uh, there's gonna be, I'm going to teach you about all of the stuff that I'm talking about, and also, if you want, how to use it. Let's see what we got. This is Evolution of Ariana Grande Pentatonix. So I guess, let me just hold up two seconds. I guess this would be like the reference to that couch. So when I did the Bohemian Rhapsody, I was talking about the couch and there was a ton of references to like it being like a throwback to the, the beginning of their career. And this is, I guess is what they're talking about. Not this specific video, but like a lot of videos where they're just sitting on a couch. Nice walk up with the chords. Wow, that's a serious melody. It's a pretty wild melody. Dude, those bass notes are ridiculous. I need to be the one who takes you home. Listen to that slide up from App on Home. To be the one who takes you home. This crazy, man. What the crazy part is, not only are they hitting all these notes, but they, they remember the melody for all these things. So it's not like it's not like they're singing this note over and over again, over and over again. You know, they're singing like these melodies that, that go crazy, man, they jump all over the place. Dude, this song has been everywhere. This song was one of the, her songs that was just like, it's not going away for a long time. Dude, Mitch's range is ridiculous. I, I'm interested because we're only a minute and 30 seconds in, so I'm curious to see where they're gonna go for this. I'm so into you, into you, into you. I'm curious, do you guys think that they filmed this right here live, or do you think that they pre-recorded and are, are lip-syncing to it? Uh, I'm curious what you think. The only reason, the only reason that I ask is I wonder, because of just the whole mic situation, so the way mics work is it's a proximity effect. So when the, the closer you are, the louder you are to the, in the microphone. So obviously Mitch, Scott, and Kirsten are farther from the microphone, so I feel like they'd be quieter, uh, and the drums would be a lot louder, and the bass would be a lot louder. Um, unless they're hanging microphones on a boom stand, um, then that would make a little bit more sense. And that would also give you the ability to pan them, because if you listen to like Mitch and, and Kirsten, they're panned slightly like to the right and to the left. So that might be the case, um, or it's pre-recorded, and that's totally fine too, but their voices are still ridiculously good. <laughs> When raindrops fell down from the sky There's some that I don't know. The day you left me an angel cool. I just want you to come with me. 
I, I'm leaning a little bit more towards it being live because it's too perfectly lip synced for it to be lip synced. <laughs> Wow, the bass pull downs are crazy. I wonder how long it takes them to, to do these, because First of all, like the crazy part is their pitch though. They're so perfectly on pitch. Like like it, it's almost hear me out, it's almost I would say not natural. Like because humans like we're we're imperfect beings. Like we don't nobody can sing perfectly in time. Nobody uh, nobody can sing perfectly on pitch. Nobody can sing perfectly in time. But they're so insanely good that it's like I don't notice off pitch like almost ever. Keep on breathing. Wow, when was this released? Because some of these are pretty new. Nice. Hold up a second. Listen to that pitch, Tom, really quick. Listen to this right here. Come on, the way he's pitching. The, what's a, so when I say pitch Tom, a Tom is like one of those, uh, the, the, it's a drum on, it's a part of the drum kit. So you have a snare, you have, and then the two rack toms, and then the floor tom. Um, and usually when you hear, bada, 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 boom, that's a, that's a tom roll. Um, but you can actually pitch them and, and like get actual specific pitches. More particularly in hip hop electronic music, you have more like actually straight up pitched toms. Um, and that's what kind of that reminded me of, but it's insanely well done. <laughs> I think that break up with your girlfriend because I'm bored was actually one of the uh, first reactions I did on the channel, I think. Wow, serious. Like, what's the word I'm looking for? R and B feel. Imagine a world like that. Like that. Imagine a world like that. Hold up a second. Like, let me just talk about that feel right here. This feel right here. So it's a six eight feel. One two three four five six. One two three four five. But it almost it, it has a bit of a swing to it. So when we talk about swing, um, I would say what's God, I guess it's, is it, oh, I don't remember off the top of my head. Is it jazz, I guess, kind of has a swing to it? I, I'm drawing a blank off the top of my head. But what swings, the swing is, is it's a, um, it's this very distinct, uh, like, so you can play really tight, is exact. So there's two opposite, opposite ends, swing and tight. Swing is, uh, or tight is when you play one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, and it's really like really in rhythm. Swing is when you slightly get out of the rhythm. So one, two, three, you, you go a little fast, you go a little slower. Sometimes you can be like, it's it's not as straight up, um, ro not robotic, but like it's not as straight up clean. It's a little bit more, it's a little more in and out of the beat, but it gives a very cool feel when you're playing it. Dude, that bass line is crazy, man. Very cool. Dude, that was that was crazy. They, 
I don't know. I I, I want to know. Somebody find out and let me know how long it takes for them to like figure this stuff out and record it because it's highly impressive and they do a really really good job. Um, I hope you guys are enjoying the content. If you have any requests, you can text me two different numbers. If you want to check out my music, it means a ton to me. Do me a huge, huge favor, hit that subscribe button. And also, if you're interested in learning a bit more about this production stuff, uh, you can check out the Patreon. I have a whole bunch of different stuff on there. I will see you guys next time. Have a great rest of today. God bless and peace out.